Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a test burn on my new solo campfire. Yeah, the lighting's kind of bad. The sun's in the wrong spot, but this is about the only place I have right now to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, picked this up a couple days ago, did another video on it. I prepped some wood. And I'm going to try to light this with the minimum of effort. Because some people, they're saying they had trouble with the wood. This is pinion. And it's not going to smell because of the way this oven burns the smoke. I want to start with that much wood. You can, I had it stacked one level higher and I thought, that might be a lot of wood. I got some uh, Q-tips that are soaked in petroleum jelly. And a little bit of fat wood. I don't want to use much because I don't want it to uh, continue to burn and smoke. All right, and these I just picked up from around the area. I wanted to use the bigger chunks of wood from the pinion because I think that's how this stove is going to function best. This may not light, but we'll see. I have a ranger and that rascal lights fast. I'm going to light it and go ahead and put the uh, other wood in later or afterward. Well that's not, oh there it goes. Well, I am getting a uh, fire started already. And it was just the tip of a uh, cotton ball that had some petroleum jelly on it. And the fat wood is lit now. And they do smoke in the beginning. That's just part of being wood. And like I said, that was not very much prep work except for chopping the wood up. So let's see how that goes. Ah, there's the other cotton ball. Into the Q-tip. All right, now that's lit. And I just wanted to see how much effort it takes to light these and it looks like it's not going to take any effort at all. Now when you're cooking with wood, you do have to build up the fire and the heat. That's just the nature of the beast. Oh yeah, it's going now. I'm going to let this continue to burn and See how it does. And we'll see how big of a flame. I've got some extra wood, show you how easy it is to load. Here in a minute, we'll see if the bigger pieces are going to catch. Well, that looks like it's burning pretty good, but we'll know here in a little bit. I'm 
The uh, old stove I had, which there'll be a link to it, because I had a, uh, about 11 years ago, 11, 12 years ago, a uh, gasifier that had an electric fan. And they no longer make them, but that was super efficient. And it was easy to start because you just turned the fan on low and shoved enough air through there. You didn't need much of a fire to spread. But batteries were always a hassle to carry and stuff, so I stopped using it and seen the way this one burns and it looks like it's real close to the same efficiency. So I'm going to let that burn and uh, see if it goes out or see if it catches the bigger pieces of wood. Well, the smoke has cut down quite a bit already. And when it starts the bigger pieces on fire, we'll see how they, if they start smoking. I should say, if it catches them on fire. And this is how you would load it, just through this slot. And once it gets to a certain stage and it heats up that uh, fire chamber, then it's really easy to keep burning. Yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty good. I'm gonna put another bigger piece on there. Looks like it's burning pretty good. We'll see how it goes. That's hot. But it also looks like it might be going out. Well, I can always put more twigs in it. That is hot. Ah, uh, there it goes. Now it's smoking. I still got to learn how to set this up for a light. All right, the chamber on one side is getting hot enough to send out the uh, oxygen jets from it coming up the sidewall so this oh yeah I don't know if it's picking up on camera but the air is circulating pretty good in there 
So now I shouldn't have any problems with it. I'm gonna try to get this other side going. All right, now I can see the bigger pieces starting to catch. You just gotta get that chamber heated up. Now you see there's very little smoke and that will continue that way now because I've got the second burn is starting. So from here on out, That should be pretty good, I'm thinking. Next time I think I'm gonna split that wood down again down the middle and get smaller pieces. It might be a little bit too big to start the fire with. But it's going now and there's really no smoke. Oh, yeah. That's a hot flame. That's already burning high, hotter than just a pile of wood would. Wood would burn. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but you can see the smoke underneath the flames and it ra rises up into the flames and then catches on fire. And that's that secondary burn which it's doing really, really good now. Well, I can tell you with minor modification to my uh, lighting using s smaller pieces of wood, <clears throat> this will start easy. Because I didn't use with that one Q-tip and two pieces of fat wood. And with wood that was probably too big to start with, it's doing just fine. Oh yeah, that's really burning good. Now I'm going to put this in because I want to see how well this lights up. All right, good, it's in camera. So I'm thinking stuff a little bit smaller than this to start it with or chop it shorter like big pellets will be good. That other piece of wood is already burning. And I, <clears throat> excuse me, I could be cooking off of this. Could have been cooking off of this a while ago. That's not warm. Now they say Oh yeah, you could. You could hold that in the palm of your hand. Now, it starts getting warm about here, but down here, it's still cool. It could sit on that plastic without melting it, but I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> I gotta remember how hot that fire is. Need longer stick.
I don't want to block the hole. Man, that's a that's a uh, <coughs> that's a good fire. I'm gonna go ahead and let that burn out because that would have already done a meal in a frying pan. Probably got coffee boiling in a pretty good sized pot. But that was my first burn with this. When I started it, I purposely <clears throat> used wood I didn't think would be quite right to get it started. Because there's a lot of people complain about getting this thing started. It might be the smaller ones. But this one had to put some extra twigs in it. Now I know that. I'll start with slightly smaller wood. But no, this should be easy and relatively fast man that's a little bonfire in a can and that's <laughs> I've been around campfires little ones and this is putting out more heat That will boil water, cook bacon, eggs, hamburger, steak. Uh, you could even cook stuff in a little barbecue basket over it. Definitely do hot dogs and sausage just over it. Uh, there's a wisp of smoke still, but even a few feet back, looking above it, you can't see it. So, it is stealthy, and a lot of people like it because of that. And you don't have to worry about smoke whipping around. Now, I'm back here where there's no wind, and that's an advantage, but uh, I've seen these used in the wind just fine. And I had one about this size a little bit smaller 11 years ago with a battery and this is almost as, as efficient I mean this is good there's no need to have to fan this or force air into it it works just fine without it I am real impressed I am glad my wife ordered told me about these and ordered them I'm going to go on a fishing trip, hopefully next year in April, and I'll be taking both of these uh, in New Mexico, showing it to my relatives that are going to be there, because this is, it's really, man, it's gasifying now a lot. It's still burning hot. Man, I'm impressed with this thing. I mean, it's been it's been burning for long enough to where you could make coffee on it. And if you had to, like I showed you, you just shove more wood in it underneath the pot or the pan. And cooking something like eggs where you don't want a hot hot pan, you'd even have use less wood. And the big plus with these, um, pick, we ordered ours about a week ago on a, I think a Black Friday sale and it was 108, $108 and some change. <clears throat> now, today they're 109 and you get one. This came in on a two for one. I actually got two stoves, two of these stoves for $108. Uh, dollars. And you just can't beat that. Uh, one stove is worth that much. Two of them, man. It's a little over, that's $54 a stove, basically. They're back ordered now, though. 
Uh, it's December 7th and they're back ordered until the end of December. Uh, they're worth the wait. This is kind of going out a little bit. I do metal work, so I'm going to be making me some tools, little tools to tap down the uh, wood and the ash. Now, I could throw that in there and it will reignite this and then I could feed bigger pieces in. They burn that. Man, that's still hot. Right there, that's hotter than any, that much wood burn on the ground would ever get and it would never get as hot as this. All right, this is about burnt out. I'm gonna let it burn down and cool off. And then I'm going to uh, clean it out and I may uh, show you that. i definitely show you that there's just ash left in the uh, chamber. And that's another, I guess you can say, downsize to these. You do have to let them burn out and cool down. I mean, I'm not going to tell you otherwise. But, as I said in another video, the whole, and people don't understand this, the whole idea of this is that you get to cook over a wood fire without smoke. I would think this would put off enough heat where you could get a fire going and stay relatively warm by it. <coughs> um, but that's why I bought it. I want to be able to cook off of wood without the smoke. And the big advantage is I've got fuel everywhere, and if I thought I wouldn't have access to it or it would be wet, I can carry a bag of wood um, with me. I'm going to do a video on this ring flips upside down and sits inside. I'm going to preload this with a small bundle of wood that will fit inside the tongs. Uh, with some paper to carry so I can take it out, lift the uh, cook ring off, set up the bundle with the paper, light it, get the initial burn, put the ring on it. Uh, if I'm cooking something light like eggs, that will do it. If not, put some bigger pieces of wood in and start cooking and cut down a lot of the uh, prep work and the time to uh, get it up to uh, heat. And you can use small pieces of wood, it's just that they burn up real quick and you gotta keep feeding it. I didn't have to feed this very much because I used the bigger semi-hard wood, I guess, pinion is. All right, I'm gonna let this burn down and then I'll show you what it ends up with. All right, it's been about 20, 25 minutes. <clears throat> And uh, I'm getting ready to uh, put it up. And uh, these do have a longer cool down than the littler stoves. Um, about 15 or 20 minutes, if you got gloves, you can handle them. Uh, get the ash out of them. And uh, if you're out camping, you can do that by uh, digging a hole, wetting it down, putting the ash in, wetting that down and covering up, make sure there's no fire. One of the places I'm going to use this is going to be in a park where they have those grills that stand up, but they're nasty to use. So I can set this on top of that, use it, get a pair of gloves, dump it over, let the ash fall in there and let it cool down. And then once the ash is out of here, they cool down fast. Now this has been, this is the one that's been through the burn. You can see the discoloration. That's not burned. This has gone through the burn. You can see the discoloration. Now, you do get soot on this ring, but not much. In the wind, you'd get more. 
Yeah, see, this is cool. Right there is what's left of all that wood. And this is, this is cold. And this can just be dumped, which I'm going to dump it. I'll be right back. All right. That's what it looks like inside. There's a little piece still in there that's not coming out. I could break it up and get it out, but the next time I use it, it will shrink down. And uh, I can get it out. That's the first burn. I'm looking forward to the color on this. I don't know if you can pick it up on camera. It's really nice. Some people clean these, the outside. Some people don't. I've seen them black because they've used them for years. These, these have been out for a while. I've seen one video where a guy goes, oh, these burn out real quick, but he didn't even own one. Um, the melting point of those are a lot higher than the uh, stainless steel. So that's not going to happen. Um, there's enough videos out there where people's had them forever and they didn't have that problem. I want to put these up, start planning my uh, demonstration I'll be cooking with them. And one of the meals I'm going to cook is going to take a while. So I'm going to, I'm going to be feeding it wood. It's going to be an extended burn and you'll get to see how that works. I, I'm impressed with this stove. Um, I've owned some other gasifiers, uh, that one with the battery, which was real efficient, but it had some issues. The uh, little fire pit, that was a gasifier, and it had good gasification. Um, bought it from Ace Hardware. I think it was the Fire Ring King or Fire Pit King, two-piece. <coughs> And uh, the Ranger, which is a fire pit solo stove, or solo, it's from Solo Stove, it's a fire pit. Um, people say it's their most efficient one. Uh, the bigger ones don't gasify as well because of the distance across the uh, top. And then I picked this up. So I know enough about them to know that this is real efficient. Uh, might be one of the most efficient non-powered ones that I've I've seen. I mean, I haven't handled those, but I've seen video of it, and I could tell by the videos that I was watching on this one that this was real efficient. So, getting ready to put it up. Uh, I like the color change on it. Yeah, makes it look good. And my next video will be me cooking a uh, dinner. Thanks for watching my video.